Okay guys, this is a tutorial on how to use the Tagzito program. So I'll uh, walk you through how to get there and what to do with the, um, the text that you're going to upload. So if you go to lesson 3, step 6, it says click here for the Tagzito website. So click on the link and that will take you straight there. Uh, then click on create and it will go into what they call the creator window so from here is where you have to load your text so up the top there's uh, the word labeled load click that and it will bring up a text box to upload your text into so the text that we talked about will have to be in a format like this so what I'd like you to do is in a Word document, put in the animal that you were doing in your group activity and list it a number of times like I have here, about seven or eight times. Then with the verbs and adverbs that we used in that activity, you need to write the verb and then a little squiggly line called a tilde and then the adverb following it. So effectively that will link the two words together, they'll, they'll stay together in Tagzito when we create it. So, and, and write those words a few times. So three times is what I've done here for the verb and adverbs that we, that we worked with. And then further down in your Word document, you'll just have uh, a list of verbs that we didn't use adverbs with that you can just write the once. So the reason we're writing things numerous times is the more times we write it, the larger the text will appear in Tagzito. So once you've got the text written out in your Word document like this, highlight it all, copy it, and head back to the Tagzito website, and in your text box, paste all that text in. And you can check that it's all there. Then hit Submit and Tagzito will create a word cloud much like this so this is now up to you how you lay out the word cloud so you can use these different um, options on the side here color theme font as to how you want to lay it out so you might want the orientation to be horizontal and it will lay them out like this uh, you may want to have the, the colors and themes looking completely different. So when you select each of these little uh, options on the side, you can change the look of it completely. So I tend to like it looking like this, but it's up to you how you want to lay it out. And then you can also click on these arrows and pick an actual theme that you like the look of. So something like that might work fine. Once you're ready to export it or, or save it, hit save, share and print, this one here, the second option down, click 500 kilobyte JPEG and call it whatever you would like and save it to your desktop. You can check on your desktop then how it will look, which is like that. And that is all we need to do.